Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing Ziga walking into the forest. This is Ziga's very first series, but I only recently got my hands on it, so let's take a look at the lineup. Here is the individual box. Super love the art style for Ziga. Turning over, we have 12 basic designs as always, and one secret. As you guys can tell, the secret is super small. It's called Mushroom. So I figure if there was a box that was super light, it probably would be the secret. So let's see if we're breaking our non-secret streak today, guys. Let's go, box number one. Figure number one is Chili Tree. Very Christmassy vibes. Definitely a Christmas tree. This Ziga is so adorable. Oh my goodness. He has a little house for a backpack. He is essentially a Christmas tree with some snow on top. Recently, green colored figurines have really been growing on me for some reason. This one is very adorable. Would be very, very fitting for the festive season in December. Probably would be bringing this one out to display during Christmas. Can't believe we opened one of the nicer ones as our first figurine. Quite excited to see all the other ones. Box number two. This one feels oddly light, compared to the last one at least. Oh, we have one of my favorites. This one is growing. Super adorable. I really think this series was very, very well designed. Somehow, it's not available in my country. I was only able to get this series when my friend was having a holiday in China and she very kindly agreed to carry this whole set back for me. Very, very grateful for her. So I finally get to see how this set looks like. I've been seeing pictures online and I'm pretty sure some other regions have this one in stock. It's just, I'm not too sure why it's not available here. But yes, this one is very adorable. I love the colors. Once again, it's a green themed with a red hat. There's a little tree, a little plant growing out of the hat. Ziga's holding a cute teddy bear. Fun fact about Ziga, these spikes on um, her hair and her hands, they are actually a form of self-defense mechanism. The artist explained that these spikes are not to harm anyone, it's to defend herself. So I think that's actually a pretty cute detail about Ziga. Box number three. Feels pretty light as well. Number three is Timid Hunter. Not one of my favorite ones from this set. In fact, I believe it's probably my least favorite one because I think it just looks pretty plain in terms of its color since it's just white and a little bit of beiges and browns. But one thing I like about this design is its arrows in the quiver behind. I think that looks pretty cute. Ziga's wearing a little beret on top, and she's not wearing shoes this time around. What do you guys think about this one? I personally don't really fancy this one. I prefer brighter colors. I love series that use very bright contrasting colors. So yeah, this one's not really my favorite, but let me know what you guys think. Box number four. Almost down with our first row. Figure 4 is Branch. Oh, this one's cute as well. Look at the green. It's so nice. Lovely colors. And I do notice that this series, Zigas, have a sort of wood carving finishing. I'm not sure if you guys can tell from the camera picking it up. But yeah, I really like this series. Anything nature themed draws me as well. And somehow these remind me of the arteries and veins in your heart <laughs> for some reason. Just your generic bio kit here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Very nice. 
I like designs that are not too complicated as well. And these ears are very adorable. Somehow I thought she would be a tree for this one since she's called Branch, but seems like she has animal ears. Maybe she is some kind of animal plant hybrid. <laughs> but yes, that is figure number four. Box number five. Figure number five is Big Ear Rabbit. Oh, I like this one. It matches with my Ziga right at the back. Let me focus. Yep, that's a rabbit as well. That's from the We Are So Cute series. I love figurines that are bunnies. This one is so cute. She's wearing a bunny suit, but she looks kind of bald <laughs> because of the mask, the rabbit mask. Love the pink. It's a gradient as well. Another fun fact, this one is actually a dog on Ziga's feet. So adorable. I love this one. Colors are so nice. To be honest, anything pink appeals to me, so I don't think it's really hard to satisfy me since there are a lot of things that I like about art toys. Yeah, let me know if this one is your favorite. Box number six. Figure 6 is Little Grey Wolf. We just unboxed a rabbit, so now we have a wolf. A predator. Of course, there are animals that coexist with the forest. <gasps> oh my goodness! This is so adorable! Let's zoom in. Oh my goodness! Is that supposed to be Little Red Riding Hood? That actually is so cute! I did not know about this detail! Oh my goodness, that is so adorable! I actually wanted to make a point that I think this figurine fits very well with this one because I thought this one reminded me of Red Riding Hood. But it seems like the artist solved that for us by including one tiny tiny one behind. It's a mini Riding Hood Ziga. That's so adorable, oh my goodness. This one wasn't one of my favorites, but I think I'll have to re-rank my figurines. This one is adorable. It's almost like an Easter egg. I guess that's the fun part about opening blind boxes. You don't really get to see the detail in pictures or when they're displayed in the shop and when you open it up, you are, you know, in for a surprise sometimes. Love this one. Box number seven. Figure 7 is Silver Crown. So I'm guessing this Ziga is the queen of the forest since she has a crown. But somehow, she's dressed in an autumn leaf. <laughs> Do you have no clothes, Ziga? This one is so adorable. Oh, she has nice emerald eyes for this one. I think most of them have green eyes, except for, I think, the one of the red hat. And I like how the hair is actually glossy, but the rest of the body is matte. I think that's very nice. I love contrasting textures and finishings in figurines. And I know a lot of people who think Ziga is quite creepy because of her expression, but I really think it's very cute. So that is figure number seven. Box number eight. Figure number eight is Get Lost. The Ziga is crying, oh dear. So am I supposed to interpret the name as this Ziga got lost or is someone telling Ziga to get lost? I think it can be interpreted both ways since Ziga is crying and both situations does make sense that Ziga is crying. But I would like to think that Ziga got lost seeing how she's injured. Even one of her horns broke off. A tiny leaf on top, pretty cute. And it seems like she's some sort of fly. Oh dear, I'm not a big fan of bugs, so maybe this one is not going to be my favorite. But some people would appreciate its aesthetics, I guess. But definitely not my favorite. Let me know if this one is your favorite, guys. Box number nine.
Figure nine is Fox. This little girl, her box is really chunky because she comes with a pinwheel and it's inside this blister pack. So let me just put it on her. Here we go, here's how she looks like. So she is a little fox, very cute as well. So we have a wolf, a fox, bugs, and a rabbit in this forest. Sadly, where I live, we don't have forests. It's really mostly just industrial buildings and it can get kind of boring looking at the concrete forest for your whole life. Let me know if you guys stay in a place with forest or more nature. So Zika is dressed in fox costume and I really like how she always comes with slippers, bedroom slippers. That is actually quite adorable. Her iconic specky hair. But yeah, that is figure number 9. Box 10. This one feels very chunky. Very heavy. Figure 10 is Paper Crane. Now before you wonder why this one is called Paper Crane, she actually comes with a mini paper crane and she's, it's supposed to rest on top of her hat. At least based on the card. But yes, that's so cute. I love this one. As for Ziga's design, I'm assuming she is supposed to be a crane. I, I believe these are wings. They look like wings. But Ziga also looks like she's carved out from a tree. <laughs> Don't really know how to interpret this one. Let me know if you guys have interpretations for this, this little girl. We have a typical frowning face from Ziga with her eyes looking up. I love the hat though. I think the hat makes it look a little bit formal. Yeah, Ziga looks like a businessman. Box number 11. Figure 11 is sprouting. This is my first time seeing a smiling expression from Zika. If I'm not wrong, I have not seen this expression before. It's really giving off very positive energy. And she's holding a cute little pot. Oh goodness, is this a skull design? <laughs> now things just got a little bit creepy, but there's a little plant inside. It's so cute. And this looks like a soft toy of some sorts. These look like buttons teeth, broken horn, not quite sure how I'm supposed to interpret this one but I just really love the colors. I think the blue is really nice. Oh, it's it's actually a, I don't know what's this, is it a, supposed to be a soft toy? That looks like a body, right? And this looks like the head with a little plant. I am not too sure how I'm supposed to be interpreting this. If you guys have any theories, do let me know in the comments. I like seeing how people interpret figurines. Everyone has a different story to tell. That is figure number 11. Box number 12. I don't think this one's the mushroom. It feels a little bit too heavy. Figure 12 is Time Messenger. Wow, this one is so cute. She has a really big head. No wonder the box felt really heavy. And I'm not too sure what kind of fabric this is. It looks good though. First time seeing such clothes on Zika. There's a little tree sprouting out as well. Really fits into the theme of forest. Nice timepiece on Ziga's shirt front. Looks like she's wearing green pants. It matches the light green hair. What a surprise! I actually don't remember seeing this one in the lineup. Let me know what you guys think about this one. A very unique design. Don't really know how to interpret it again, other than the fact that Ziga is a time messenger, but yeah. So that is figure number 12. It's time to showcase the cards again. Love the sketches. Reminds me of watercolor. Oh, my favorite bunny one. The cards are so cute. 
but they're slightly smaller than the cards we usually see nowadays with Pop Mart because this is one of the older series. Here are the figurines all lined up together, they look really really good. One thing I like about nature themed series is that the designs are usually very unique and very unpredictable. Kudos to the artist for designing such a great first series for Ziga, even though I got it really really late. But hopefully I did the designs justice with my camera and the quality of the video. Let me know which character is your favorite in the comments down below. With that being said, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye!